Uh, one of the uh, take home messages from the presentation is first that we have a new uh, drug with a novel mechanism of action um, that is not affected by you know, resistance to uh, other classes of antiretrovirals, and, and that's important. Uh, the second issue is that these drugs has, you know, um, a special PK profile with very long uh, half-life, and these drugs could be given both uh, orally, um, not uh, not daily, but weekly, and also uh, subcutaneously. And uh, when you give these drugs uh, subcutaneously, you only need one shot every six months. So it could be self-administered, and you know, having a drug to be uh, given only every six months it, it is just great. Uh, the, the other interest is that this drug is also uh, uh, available as an oral pill that can be given potentially every week. And there are now partnerships between companies and that's new so that they could you know, combine uh, the uh, drugs with long half-life and you know, the other drug that is also uh, interesting in, in the near future is this latter here from developed by Merck and they have made an agreement, Gilead and Merck, to try to develop uh, the, the combination as a weekly uh, uh, regimen, the oral weekly regimen. So the, the studies are also going to start phase two studies to assess this combination. So uh, I guess in, in the near future, we could see how we could simplify uh, the life of people with HIV infection by providing uh, effective, safe, and also uh, 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 convenient regimen. Uh, whether it's a pill given once weekly or an injection uh, every six months potentially. And so that's, potential, that's the way I see the future of treatment.